<laughs> Spooky season starts July 5th. Nice. Anyway, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I completely spaced that I didn't turn on VC face. Whoa! Thank you for coming. Why am I talking like that? Oh my god. More murder by numbers! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope I remember how to play. <laughs> how to do mass. Mass. Math. 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 I'm not British or Canadian. Why did I say mass? What was it? Why is there an S at the end of mass? Anyway. Thank you, Claw. I hope you had a nice day as well. Oh. The load game. Um. Where were we last? Hey! Look out, then dig digits be dangerous. <laughs> thank you for the resub, Drew. Eight months! Thank you, thank you. Which one was the latest thing? Looks like it, it looks like I did it for both. Evening! Okay, yeah, so let's do some investigating. Use scout scheme in order to locate object of interest, move the viewpoint. Is it like hot cold hot cold? The mouse is like so much farther than the actual movement, probably because of the setting I have on. Been a rough day, Dad. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Oof indeed. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> no, you didn't see this. Okay, well, we got a 10 right across the board, which is nice. Let's see how well I remember this. That's why I was taking it. I don't blame you, especially in the heat. Like, it's so bad. I It's starting to cool down a little bit here, but that's because it's been raining near, it's, you know, a little longer than usual every day. So, which helps. I'm just hoping that by the time we get to September, um, especially because I'll be go, uh, I'll be going to, not on my actual birthday, but, uh, around that time going to Orlando. <laughs> so, like, I don't want to die because I want to go to Disney Springs. And it's like, I don't want to die. Please be cool. <laughs> the reason why is there's a store in Disney Springs called Yulika, Yulik, 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 but whatever. They're doing the Glamp collaboration. They have Car Captain Sakura t-shirts. I never, I never get t-shirts. I'm buying one. It's my birthday gift to me. <laughs> it's like, yes. Nice day. Um, I was actually coming. But uh, I, I have to go get one. And they're supposed to come out in September. So hopefully I'll be able to get one. <laughs> Are they gonna have a clamp JoJo fic that I can't <laughs> Sadly no, they have done JoJo collabs. This is kinda it's like a fancy streetwear store. Um So they have some nice stuff though. And of course the one in Disney Springs has Disney stuff. But it is a bit fast fashion, which is kind of the bad thing about them. So, these are two, and then we get maybe. We're gonna do five. That one definitely is one of them. Let's see. Okay. I'm kind of just looking. I'm, I'm, I'm remembering for the most part, it's either up or down. Up or down. Nope. Which means no. Oh wait, one. I misread that completely. Okay. I uh, yeah, I misread that completely there. That's fine though. I'm not gonna be like punished too much. Nope. There we go. I'm remembering kinda. No? Uh, this is five? Six. Five. There we go. I'm not above guessing. <laughs> I'm not I'm not the <laughs> Also Drew, I'm glad you're here, because if I need help, you can help me. 
<laughs> Better news, my local Huey RPG maker is on sale right now. Yay! Nice, yeah, I saw that. It's like two bucks right now. Uh, I forget, I forget which one. It's not Ace. It's uh, 2003? Which a lot of really good games have made on there, so... Definitely worth it. Okay, we got seven. These are definitely... Okay. We got two here. Those five. One. These are probably the next one. Oh, no. Ah. We have two. Three. Okay. <laughs> I got Envy for like 12. It, I went with it since the next newest one was like 50. Ah. Yeah, I think I have MV as well. I keep telling myself I want to make a game. I keep telling myself I want to make a horror game. But writing. Sorry, I'm moving the mic slightly. So, let's see. Okay. Got... Yay, we're getting there. And then. All right, so we just got to do these which is going to be the indicator here. Well, four. Here we go! Got it! Coffee pot. We found a coffee pot! I'm pretty sure Fear and Hunger was made at NV, so... Yeah! You got, like, you got some great stuff that's also made in, like, Wolf Editor RPG, which is, like, a very stripped-down version. What's this liquid honor? That's coffee. I don't know how you get through the day without it. Girl, same. I see. I can't, do I, do I, uh... oh, Speaking of, did you see the comment about the secret dates in mode? I think it's a perfect joke edition. I have, I saw that. I tried looking it up. I couldn't find anything. I'm like, maybe, maybe they're keeping, like, like maybe I just didn't type it in right. I kept getting other things. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to see. <laughs> That would be hilarious, though. You got enough characters for there to be a dating sim, because I did watch a bit... Uh, I, d I watched the edited version of Connor's stream for Fear and Hunger 2. Oh, wait, hold on. You say, is it Fear and Hunger 1 or Fear and Hunger 2? I was looking at 2. If it's 1, then that explains why I couldn't find it. <laughs> you see, so it's kind of... It's kind of like fuel, like gasoline. Kind of. But it tastes better, or at least it's supposed to. The stuff from our coffee machine, on the other hand... I'm having difficulty understanding. Is is this coffee machine a fuel dispenser? Okay, that explains why I couldn't find it. I was looking for two. <laughs> I was looking at two. That's why. Okay, I'll have to look it up later for one then. That's that's awesome though. I love that, that that's a secret joke. Because let's be like, and we let's be honest. Whenever you have something that's absolutely horrifying, like you know, Lovecraftian levels, this is gonna fuck you up. People are gonna wanna fuck somebody in it. <laughs> and it's a fully fleshed out mode too. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love those, I love joke stuff when it comes to horror things. That's great. Hey, Conductor. Oh, no, you're, oh, no, you were sick. At least you're recovering. Feel better soon. Uh, being sick is the worst. Speaking of Connor. Did you see the can I unclipped your will? No. <laughs> oh, yes, I have. He showed it in the main one. Yes. <laughs> she just starts crawling. No, that's so mean. Eldritch horror dating sim thonk. <laughs> I'm just, uh, coffee machine is filled with fencer. I mean, kinda. I apologize for asking so many questions. Many of the eternal intertextual connections in my... <laughs> ontological database were lost when I was discarded. You lost me on the same. Ontological, isn't that something to do with insects? I know many things, but the relationship between, the relationship between those things is unclear. I'm trying to rebuild them. Because I can't blame him. I played as her in my first run and I equipped the Oh no! You know what's sad is be it, well not sad, but it's it, the thing is the developer knew people would ask that, and they're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna make you do it and make you feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> it's like it's it's one of those things. It's like, look, 
Someone's gonna do it. Someone's gonna check. Uh... <laughs> so... <laughs> and, the de and the developers know. And either they let you do it, uh, they're for a hot key for it, but since she... Then she can't... Oh! So she has to pull herself up? Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of, I guess if I did play any of the Fear Hungers, I'll probably play It Makes Running From it. Oh my god, it would. So she's like extra hard mode. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, what's- I- I forget the character's name. I feel so bad for her. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I guess if I did play any, it'd probably be two, because I know it's at least a little kinder than the first one. So I, it'd be one of those things where like, I could never stream it, at least not without the patch. <laughs> I know many things, but yeah. I don't know if it's feel or not, Scout. It's complicated. Not everything can be broken clearly into simple facts like that. Try telling that to Twitter. Try telling that to folks on Twitter. It's like, I like pancakes. So you hate waffles. No. <laughs> those are two completely different sentences. <laughs> but people just. Ah, ah. <laughs> like the twisted turn things. I see, I know. I see. You do? Hi, Tora. No! But my programming tells me that it's a good thing to say when faced with things I don't understand. <laughs> oh no, scouts start becoming more human. <laughs> Scout become human. I see. Let's see, is there anything else to investigate why we are here? Puzzle start. Scout has some great lines. I'm not so, he's so cute. They did a good job on his character design too, it's cute. So what, uh, what is this game? I missed the, so it's like, it's a mis It's a murder mystery game, but you figured out the puzzles by using uh, Picross, which is a numbers game. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> I, it's hard to explain. <laughs> But, um, so we play as Honor, and she's actually plays a detective in a TV show, and her friend, who's the executive of the show, fired her, and then he dies. So it doesn't look good. <laughs> so we need to find out who the murderer is. And we have Scout here who woke up in a junkyard, and he might be able to help us. So it's like Phoenix Wright, but very silly 90s, uh, Matt added to it. <laughs> the math's not 90s, but... Is very aesthetically 90s. So. Um, but the, the thing is you fill in the squares to make a picture using the numbers as your guide. Geometric logic puzzles. So like for this, I know there's gonna be a two and then a space and then a seven. So. Yeah, the thing is with this, it kind of jumps, it goes like really easy and then it jumps into this. <laughs> it does have hints mode and it does like have modes to help at least. So there's that, which is nice. What's also nice is my back's still a little messed up. So I got the heating pad and it's like, oh, this feels great. <laughs> like nice pillow, like all comfy, like I'm all good. Mostly. Mostly, mostly. So, let me at least try to get the sink to seven since it's the biggest number here. So, usually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I can at least guess. Which that means this is also going to be the first one as well. So, assumption. Yes, maybe. Main question is, okay, we got up to five. Thing is, is it gonna be this way or is it gonna be this way? That's gonna be the question. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it won't be. No, this is gonna be a space because these are gonna be the two. Space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, because there's gonna be a space. 
Okay, so we got the first row. Yay! And we also have the ones down, so this is four. That means we know this is going to be four. Space. For that. Three. Space. Two. Space. Space. Actually, it should be one. Is it going to be one, 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 one? There's four ones. No. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so we got the one there, so we know there's... Okay, so the three is either going to be this... What do these numbers even mean? They're the spaces for the clues, so it's like, fill. it's a... Uh, think color by numbers. Second top row is... Oh, I see. Oops. What? I messed up some. Oh. oh, I see what I did. I hit the wrong button. Thank you. Yeah, that one is a little. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I completely. Yeah, because here was the three, and then it would have been one. Yeah. Well, that was kind of. I guess I could. Have. So each row has a column and number consistently feels good. Yeah. It's kind of like. I. I guess you could say, like, paint by numbers also in a weird way, but that's, like, not accurate either. Okay. You know that's the space. We got the one there, so... We got the space there. Nope. Okay, so it's gonna be here? Here? Oop. I have it where it automatically fills in when I get, like, the full row done, too, which helps. It's definitely. I already have the two here. Hmm. All right. Oh. What? That's not right. There we go. Okay. Hey, Mizu. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, as you see, group of two, space, and then group of seven. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely a learning curve. If oh my god, this is just one on this row? I gotta find the one? Well, hmm. Yeah, I didn't, didn't think it was that. Oh boy. I should have done some of the practice ones before stream. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to play this or another one, but uh, with my keyboard acting up, it ended up being this. Hey, you're fine. It took me a while, too. And then the thing is, of course, the bigger these get, the harder it gets. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah, that was the final one there. That makes sense. We have one, two. The thing is, I have a bad habit of not looking up here. I keep forgetting to. Okay, so that row's done. Oh, yeah, there's the one right there. Oh, no, up there. Hmm. And then we have the final three. So we got the three there. Three there. Two. We have the one, two. So we got that. If you have two digit number, it will be two, 13, 12 or something like that. I'll see it soon. I've seen a tens. So yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be great. Yeah, there's like a slight space at least. So that should help. Oh, right, I already have the two. I really need to pay attention better. It's not there. Uh, yep, there. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. There's the four. There's that four. There's that three. Two. So that's Oops. one. What the fuck is that? ID card.
Yeah, I could do I can do word search really well. My grandma played word search a lot, so I played it a lot. So I can do word searches. Hmm, it's an ID card. Looks like it belongs to Tuli. He seems to be quite forgetful with his belongings. Wait a second. This card says it's a grind a Gridmore Studios ID, but I don't recognize the design at all. Do you think it's fake? Sorry, Honor, I have no reference to compare it against. Perhaps there's someone more familiar with these cards who can help. Okay, so we got our investigation, so we can start questioning. We start questioning KC. But look who it is, the lady that's putting the heel into Gumshoe. I loaned this game to her, but she didn't really get the visual aspect of the game. Uh, that sucks, but I, that's like, that's a hard thing to get people into sometimes. Um, uh, for some people to understand. I remember tell, uh, telling a teacher years ago about Ace Attorney. Um, and I let her play a bit and she got so confused during the first case. She goes like, wait, how am I supposed to show things? I'm like, it's like this. <laughs> Actually, speaking to Vice Attorney, so one of my very odd jobs I used to do was uh, I would help set up seminars for lawyers where they, they have to continue taking classes. So we would set up the seminar. I would get to this place at like 5 a.m. in the morning, work for like two hours in the morning, and then just sit there the rest of the time until everyone left and uh, I pack everything up and ship it out because they'd record the classes. During the break, they would see me on my 3DS. They're like, oh, what you doing? I go, I'm playing Ace Attorney because I thought it was funny. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, you play as a defense lawyer. What? <laughs> and because I would see some of these people again and again, a couple of them were like, hey, I got to this on my iPad. It's really fun. I'm like, oh my God, I introduced actual lawyers to Ace Attorney. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I go, it's not accurate, but I think you might get a kick out of it. Yeah, I was playing, I think I, think I was playing, which one was I playing at the time? Was it Apollo? It was either Trials and Tribulations or Apollo. I don't remember. I wonder what they thought of the logic in it. I told them, like, it's very silly. I said, just keep in mind, this is like a sat kind of like a kind of a satire and even then like a satire of Japanese courts, but it's all localized. Um, but they just, they love the fact that I was playing a game where you played as a lawyer. <laughs> I never heard, sadly, what they thought of the logic, but it was still funny to knowing, like, oh, I introduced actual lawyers to this game. <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was an interesting job, too, because I get paid, like, 15 bucks an hour. I would do one, like, a couple, you know, a couple times a month, and that would, that would help, because it would be long days. It's, like, eight-hour days. <laughs> I should probably introduce you to Scout. I am getting so sidetracked. What's going on? Why isn't the... The next step is to show them Danganronpa. <laughs> I guess. What is going on? It is not continuing. What is happening? Miss Mizuhara, you're still here. After that, Persona 5. Hmm. I should probably introduce you to Scout. That was weird! I wonder why that happened. A new psychic? Are you trying to make me jealous? I am Scout. He's some kind of investigation robot, we think. Sounds complicated. <laughs> I love his butterfly hair tie. This get, this man is just so extra and I am living for it. Yeah, it's probably easier if we don't try and explain it. Yeah, don't worry, we'll explain it later in the plot. Well, my friend is of honor. Well, a friend of honor is a friend of mine. Nice to meet you, Scout. We're still not any closer to working out who killed Blake. Any ideas? Obviously, we can't discount ourselves. That only leaves Becky, Tuli, John. Don't forget Bill. There's no way Bill is involved. He went her to fly. It's Bill. <laughs> You're right. I don't think he could plan a murder even if he wanted to. Last week I saw him get startled by his own reflection. Why is he my cat? Don't be mean. <laughs> he has a good heart. 
Did I say he didn't? You can have a good heart and no brains. He's living proof. <laughs> Damn, dude. And you're proof that someone can have neither. <laughs> um, you saw him for a split second. He's the security guard. <laughs> when I accidentally when I went to the office. Oh. Okay, what about Becky? What do you think about Becky? Could she have killed Blake? Becky's like, uh, mega. She's like, I'm like the best ever kind of girl. That kind. Could have killed Blake. That girl can hold a grudge better than Jonah and Betty. Uh, I think, yeah. But together, and she wasn't exactly on good terms with Blake. Right. Something about a contract disagreement? Don't suppose you've heard any details through the gossip grapevine. As usual, do you think she's not getting enough recognition? I heard she was demanding 100000 for marketing. No thanks, Becky. <laughs> no, no, that's Becky. <laughs> that's not so bad. The show could always use more marketing. Not for the show, for herself. You know, feature articles, billboards, the cover of Celeb Life magazine. The Starshine Awards are coming up and she's determined to win Best Actress this year. Does she really think she can force herself into the shortlist through advertising? That's crazy. Uh, no, Honor, that's how it works. That's literally how it works. That's why anime films almost never get into the fucking Oscars, unless they're like from Disney. The one year that Andyplex uh, submitted the third Madoka film, they're like, well, I guess anime has its plans. Like they, they like, unless you have the money, they do not care. Her name, yeah, she's Honor. She's Honor Casey Scout. I know, it's funny. It's like, really, her name's Honor. <laughs> Their names are very on point, like Detective Cross, and this is Picross, which, which uses the word cross in it. <laughs> it's very, it's it's very it's Ace Attorney inspired, like to the point that the music you're hearing is by the same composer as the early Ace Attorney games. And of uh, Ghost Trick, which I promise I will stream at some point. I just need to get the game. I want it physically, so I need to wait until I can afford it. Pre, uh, import it. <laughs> Once I do, we are streaming that the day it arrives. That's Becky, but Blake was having none of it. She's been trying to win that award for years. She's desperate. Who knows what she might resort to? Hmm, possible motive. What do you make of John? That weirdo with the bum bag? Three out of 10 times. <laughs> yeah, Mizahi. Misery. Mi 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 I said misery. <laughs> Misra. Mizhar. Oh my god, I can't say her name now again. I'll say it. If I'll be able to do it. That's not what I meant. For once. Bon oh, so they talk about boys all the time then. <laughs> misery. <laughs> Lost company. <laughs> well, fine. Well, there are fans, and then there are fans. Uh huh. I know. Like, this is in the 90s, so no Twitter yes. Like that girl we met outside the studio last year, she was intense. Ooh, ooh we have another person. Like, chain you to the radiator and get all <laughs> Are you shitting me? I was like, because I kept saying, I kept saying misery. Of course, the fucking movie and book just popped into my head. If I get a nickel Eric, I have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird I can twice. <laughs> Like, can you derate her and get all misery on your ass intense? How could I forget? She tried to cut off some of my hair. <gasps> ah, that's, no, that's crazy. Oh god, that's a fear of mine, especially when I was a kid. Um, I there was a movie I watched as a kid called Harriet the Spy, and there's a scene where Harriet, the girl sitting in front of her, has her hair in a braid, and Harriet decides to just cut it. And that installed a huge fear in me. I almost never wore my hair in a braid at school. Because I'm like, nope, I ain't, I ain't letting that, nope. <laughs> that, was like, that became a huge fear of mine. <laughs> I would put it in a ponytail, but it was like high ponytail or something, but uh, never a braid. I was like, nope. Like, if that happened, I think I would just burst into tears. Uh, I'm not sure if John is in the same league of crazy, but don't you think it's weird that he showed up today of all days? What about the, uh, 
contractor. What's well, about the contractor guy? Thule? Such a dour name for such a gorgeous guy. If he wasn't such a creep, he'd be a solid seven. Oh, sure, he tries it on with you and Becky, but what about me, huh? <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? Aw, poor dude. Honestly, I really am destined to be alone forever, aren't I? Might as well get a cat and start knitting my own jumpers. Oh, that's right, he's British. I forgot about that. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being with having cats and well I mean I'm trying to learn how to crochet which I'm very behind on I can do a row <laughs> I still need to learn <laughs> I gotta get back to it I'm so behind <laughs> oh babe don't take this the wrong way but maybe if you weren't quite so picky you might have more luck oh he's a friend don't worry he's single <laughs> a girl shouldn't always know her worth honor I wish I'd known that before I married Ryan. Oh yeah, she's like a divorcee. All crochet is just, yeah, it's just trying to make that like second I'm having trouble, but I think it's just what I was using. Hopefully I've got, I had, I used my, I finally bought stuff with my gift card. So I have some like nice yarn. Plus I got that thing that like you can make beanies with. I gotta do that too. I'm so behind in all my craft stuff. <laughs> I lose track of time. Maybe to lose a suspect. But don't be ridiculous. A murderer with those eyes? This coming from the man who said Jeffrey Dahmer had us. Ah! No! No! Sir! No! You did not! Oh no! And I'm just thinking of all the fucking thirst TikToks people made on fucking TikTok. Granted, it was of the movie actor, but still, it was like, yep. Well, also the show, but yep. I'm not Tim Hart if he does Tim Oh my god. This is so mystique. That's how he got his, but that's how he got his victims! Those the ones that never look it. Like, ugh. <laughs> I was not expecting actual real life murderers to be referenced in this game. <laughs> be honest, do you think there's a case against me? Please, how long have I known you now? Four years? You're about as capable of murder as I'm about giving my parents a grand <laughs> Just realize I know a Casey in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I know I suspect. I never suspected you either, for, for the record. I should hope not. Besides, if I was going to kill someone, I'd do it with far more flair. Blunt force trauma to the head is just so straight. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, so do we have any... Um, hey, isn't this Tuli in the photo? Yeah, I think it's his ID card, but I don't recognize the design. Any ideas? Sorry, doesn't look like any studio idea I've seen. Maybe try asking Bill. He checks those things every day. Okay, so we can ask Bill. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can show. Okay, so office. The body's still there! The body is just hanging in the background. <laughs> they haven't removed it yet. Hi, Bill. How's it going? Still guarding the crime scene, huh? Yeah, Detective Cross wasn't too happy about me going to get that tape. I had to talk him out of cuffing me to the desk. I just noticed he has a little paw print on his hat. That's so fucking cute. That's so cute. The body hasn't even hit the floor yet. I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Oh, don't mention it. 
I'm just glad you're off the hook. I always knew you had nothing to do with what happened to Blake. Thanks. It's good to have you on my side. You and Scout make a great team. It's a shame you can't help Detective Cross with the rest of the investigation. Yes, we can. That's exactly what we're doing. Scout! You are? But he seemed really mad at you guys. He kept saying things like that damned vigilante and her flying computer. Well, he didn't exactly give us permission, but there's something bigger behind Blake's death. And we have to find out what. Oh geez, Detective Cross isn't going to like that. No one's supposed to touch anything in here. Don't look at me like that. I just don't want to make Detective Cross angry again. I don't think my blood pressure can handle it. Or his. Aww. He's so sweet. What's your opinion of John? What's your opinion of John Redfern? Oh, we get kids trying to sneak into the studio all the time. I think he just picked the wrong day to try again an autograph. You don't think he seemed kind of intense? Oh, they're all like that, if you ask me. The kid got lost and now he's a murder suspect. His poor mother's probably worried sick. Have you seen this Thule guy before? No, I don't think I have. I never forget a face. The dude was killed with blunt force trauma, so it's probably... <laughs> but it almost seems like Thule's a bit of a red herring. Okay, it's not. I... Detective Cross, aka Private Investigator Cross, or P.I. Cross. Oh! Oh, I didn't get the Private Investigator part! I just figured the cross was because... Oh my gosh. That's... Okay, that's funny. I didn't even get that. Okay, for a split, split second, I don't know why, but I thought that looked a bit... Like, loss. <laughs> I don't know why it's not. It's only two panels. <laughs> I'm seeing things. No, I don't think I have it. I never forget a face. But that's not too unusual for contractors. They come and go all the time. He certainly looks big enough to kill someone. But why would Blake pick a fight with a contractor? Yeah, I imagine it was. Considering how many of the other names have been kind of like puns. I mean, her name is Honor, and this is a and she's a, being a detective here. I hate to even consider it, but is it possible Becky killed Blake? Did you know they were fighting over her contract? Becky? Kill someone? But she's so nice! There's some doozies later in the game. I again, it's invoking the Ace Attorney, the Phoenix Wright games with their puns. Their name, like the puns for their names. Have you met Becky? I know she seems rude sometimes, but I think there's a heart of gold in there somewhere. She probably just wants to be understood. Oh, honey, no. Didn't you say the same thing about the guy from accounting who set the office on fire a couple of years ago? I, I don't think Bill's a good judge of character. <laughs> He's a nice guy, just a little, just, just, just a little too trusting. Well, you can't expect me to be right all the time. All right. What do you make of this ID card, Bill? That's a nice card. Feels the weight, feel the weight of the laminate. They don't make them like this anymore. I had an uncle who was a big shot in the lamination industry. You see, and he always said, forget the lamination, Bill. It says it's a Gridmore Studios ID, but it doesn't look right. Is it a fake? No, it's just an old design. They went out, they went out right around the time I started working here. But that was years ago. Do you really think Tully has had a studio ID for that long? It's possible. Just wait here. I'll go check our files. Mmm. Suspicious. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found something under Blake's desk. Maybe that scout of yours can take a closer look. That could be evidence. Shouldn't you give it to Detective Cross? I tried, but he was so busy yelling at me for leaving the room earlier that he wouldn't listen. Will you take a look at it? I still love that he's, the dude's got, like... And I pulled, uh, I, I, I already missed it. Okay, so zero, so this is all crossed out. Nice, thank you. <laughs> thank you, that makes things a little easier. So our biggest number here is seven, so. so. What I usually do is at least try to get um some in between is go into the ends for the big numbers, count to where they would be, and then do it over here as well. At least, so we know we got the fourth here. 
If it's here, then that counts as that one. Yep. The other question is, is there three here or is there gonna be four this way? We also got a five. So that's another. Hmm. Well, it's definitely not gonna be the full row of five here for the five because we got the one at the end here. So most likely. Hmm. Okay, that row is done. And we got two. We know that two's there is done. We got a seven. There's one, two, three. The second top. <laughs> but so, okay. oh, yeah, I keep, I need to look. Oh, so these are going to be all the same then. Uh, oh, no, see, that was wrong. I really could just do, oops. There we go. Which means that the seven. Hmm. I got this. I got this. The other one. So we got this. So there's the two. Which means two's there. Two's there. So have the one. One. Three. One. That row's done. We've got these two here. Do we go this way? No. Hmm. One. Four. One. There we go. Which means. Oops. There we go. What the fuck is that? Hair dye? How is that supposed to be hair dye? It's a small bottle, half full of dark liquid. Oh, is this more of that coffee you told me about earlier? I don't think you want to drink that. It's hair dye. But what is it doing in Blake's office? Perhaps he dyed his hair? It does appear to be similar tone to Blake's. Strange. I didn't think Mr. Patterson used to anything like that. Then again, we all thought my Aunt Agnes regrew a full head of hair at 91, but it turned out she'd gone senile and was wearing a carpet sample. You couldn't tell the difference between a carpet sample and hair? Blake didn't dye his hair, but maybe somebody else does? Your friend KC said he is an award-winning hair and makeup artiste. Maybe he could tell us more? Good thinking. If anyone here knows about hair dye, it's him. Now that Bill's gone, we finally got the crime scene to ourselves. We should scan the room in. Oh, shit. Oh, hello! Tully, what are you doing here? Me? I was, uh... I was just... I, it's kind of embarrassing. Can we talk? Why? Okay, we're gonna investigate first. Before we talk to him. Hmm, is there anything? Oh! Alright, desk. Let's see. Oh, we got a full 10 here. I like when it's- I like when it fills the full row! I like that! Thank you very much. And then the 7 was down. Same thing goes for here. So yay! So we already got quite a bit done already. Nice. We'll have the 2 in the middle here. Hmm. We got the 4. Let's have the 3. Lots of similarities. Oh, one, one, two, two, one. Yay! 
Hey, got that one! Which means those. So we'll have another one in this little, in this area. Two, two, that's done. Two, we got a three here. Hmm, I guess it's gonna depend on which side. Hmm. Is it gonna be two, two? Oh, there's also the six here. I forgot about that. Hmm. Oh, one, two, three. Here we go. And then we also have the three. Here we go. There's the six. There's the four. Still need to figure out the three here, but hmm. Probably, okay, we definitely know it's those. Nope. Okay, those here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I was so close to getting it all in one go. <laughs> it's fine. We also got the ones. My guess. Here we go. What do we find? Blake's mail. That's, that's a pretty big clue. Maybe. Look at all these letters. Blake must have been going through the fan mail. We, got, we get stacks of this stuff every month. What for? Nothing, really. People just want to say they like the show. Guess it helps them feel closer to us. Parasocial relationships. <laughs> if they want to be closer, why don't they just visit the studio? <laughs> I mean, emotionally, Scout. Fans get to know us through the show, and they write to us. Well, mostly they want to write to Becky, but you get the idea. Here, I'll read you one. To whoever wrote episode six, I hope you trip and fall on your pencil, bleed all over the floor, and die in agony. Oh, hey, it's a Twitter comment. I would not advise allowing this person to get close closer to you, emotionally or otherwise. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here's another one. Mr. Patterson, you've chewed up Murder Miss Terry and crapped out another a sorry excuse for a new season. Proto titter ahoy, right? <laughs> this is the old this is how we did Twitter in the 90s. We wrote to them directly. <laughs> if I ever have the misfortune to meet you in the streets, I'll open you up and make you eat your own guts. Then maybe you'll know how you made the fans feel. Oh my god. This isn't fan mail, it's hate mail. There are 14 envelopes here with the same handwriting. I calculate a 98 probability that they're all from one person. <gasps> and they all signed with the same thing. Show Master 66? That's a very Japanese one. Yeah, it is, yeah. Show Master 66. They couldn't do that in 69. Come on. That would have been funny. <laughs> Could it be some kind of nickname? Signed death... Signing death threats, even with a nickname, seems like a good way of getting caught. So we're not exactly dealing with a criminal mastermind here. Uh, considering what's going on, they could track down the postage and at least the zip code from the postage stamp. Unless they were delivered directly. Okay, we have other places we can investigate. Wait, can we investigate the body? Oh, there's a- wow, there's quite a few! Alright. Okay. So... We know that. We also have a six and then another seven. A one degree of four class. We have that. Let's look at a five. Oh, that was just honestly, I that could have been wrong. It could have been this way. But I see that it's not. Hmm. We also have a six. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's either gonna be this end or this end. It's gonna depend on the one. Gonna depend on the ones. Hmm. Well, if we have a four, it's either gonna be these four space 
these four? Well, I could also be wrong, but they'd be also around here. So don't listen to me there. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'll figure it. I'll get it. We just at least know that this row was is zero, which fine, that's fine. I, I prefer it to be a horizontal row, personally. <laughs> Find that a little easier to handle. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Probably, well, if, oh, no. Okay, so the six is this way. Sometimes, Sometimes I just guess. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No? That way. Which I know it probably feels like, well, you're not getting them right. Like, it, it works, it's fine. Oh, wait. That's not right. There we go. So here's the four. No, that's not the one. Of course not, that'd be too easy. Hmm. We got that. I'm trying to think. Okay, so we got the six. There we go. That one. 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 Uh, no. Wow, I completely messed those up. Oh, yeah, because I was already too eager done. Duh. Wait. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's all fine. Phone receiver. I mean, I could tell that's what it was in the photo. <laughs> A new bonus puzzle was added to Scout's memory bank. That's odd. Blake's phone was left off the hook. The positioning suggests he only had just lifted the receiver when he was struck. Maybe he was trying to make a call? But the killer got to him. Is there any, like, maybe the person who was calling heard? Come on, go solid. Come on. There we go. Boxes. I will also take a full row vertically like that. I will take that, too. Hmm. Well, we got the one here. So, the six is probably... Can't guarantee it'd be that way. But I can at least do this. Because we got that whole full row here. Cool. So that helps with that. So it's two, two, one. Here we go. One. <laughs> now we got this whole side to deal with. So, no, not enough ones for that. If we had one more, maybe. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so it's that way. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, as you see, I'm not really being penalized. I have it on easy because it's math. I'm not gonna play a math gate I'm on hard. I'm gonna have hints on and shit. Hmm. Okay, we got the three. We got the one, which is one of these ones. 
combo. Is it the second or third? That's the question. Hi, Paul. <laughs> it's math. I used to be really good at math. I used to be I used to be really really good at math actually. Oh, ad break, ad happening. It never tells me when I can hit it. Oh well. All right, so we just got to figure out the final one here. Well, it's definitely not that. Hmm. It's gonna be three. Maybe. All right, that row's done. We have four. We have two here. Four. Which way? Oh, that way. One's gonna be the two. There we go. Don't need to figure out the one. <gasps> Oops. Oh no, wait. There we go. What's this one? One. Oops. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. Shit. It's a mouse, but I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Because of the top one. Yay! Got it. What is it? Tape recorder. <gasps> hmm. Magnetic storage. VHS, Betamax, no. Ah, this is an audio cassette recorder. Maybe Blake used it for dictating? Did, did, not dictating. Didacting? Didacting? Looks like there's a tape inside. It's got something written on the label. SM66 Tape 1. <gasps> ah, it's the guy who was sending the letters! SM66 could be a code. Nation Brute Fourth Algorithm. Spicy Madras. Singing Madonna. No, stop, stop. We're never gonna, we're never gonna figure out every, anything out like that. Just play the tape and we'll go from here. Okay. Nation Playback. The cassette tape was... Before CDs, kids. Door opens. Who are you? What do you want? D play dumb with me. You know what you... You really want me to... Or isn't there anything I can do? Clock's ticking, Blake. All right, all right. Just don't... Finishing up on set right now. I'll go at... Uh... My apologies, Honor. The recording seems to have been damaged, of course. Some of the audio has been lost. I heard enough. Blake was being threatened. I just wish I could tell who he was talking to. There may be more information. I'll, con I'll continue playback. Hey, it's done. I told her she's off the show. Jesus, how am I explaining this to the network? <gasps> ah, that's why she got fired! This asshole said I should be fired! It's not my problem. But we're done now, right? Just go the rest of the photos and get out. Not so fast. We're blank. Hold on to these just in case. So he that was never part of the deal. This is Calm down, Blake. I it's supposed to be over. I'm what am I s what I should have done from the start. Away from that phone. I'm going, not going to warn you again. Get your hands off me. Ugh. So somebody wanted honor off the show enough... Hmm. He, he was killed because of me. Aww. It sounds like they were black blackmailing him somehow. Someone wanted me off the show so badly, they... I'm sorry, Honor. I wish I could do more to identify the killer's voice. It's not your fault, Scout. We'll figure this out somehow, and finding out who this tape recorder belongs to is our next step. 
Ugh. Hey there, gorgeous. Got time to talk. This really isn't the time or place for a chat. We're standing in a crime scene. Crime scene, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and you don't want Detective Frost finding you in here. So what are you doing in here? Me? I was just, uh, looking for my car keys. <laughs> Forever looking for the car keys. I get that. I lose things all the time. Want me to help me look? I can move this desk pretty easily if you want. If you wanted to check under it. Let me get, just get a good grip and... Wait a second! How about we just leave the desk and the body where it is? Jeez, I wonder what he lost. Right, yeah, whatever you say. Did you come here for a reason? For the greatest reason of all. Love! I wanted to get uh, you alone for a while. Ew! Casey, you were dodging a bullet here. Like, dude. Uh. There's something between us. Don't you feel it? A few feet of concrete wouldn't be a bad start. What makes you think there's something between us? Because I can't stop thinking about you. Ah, go away! I was kind of hoping that. Maybe you feel the same? No. You got the detective to believe you're innocent. Maybe you can do the same for me. And then we can go and... Look, you're a good-looking guy, but this is not the time. One of my best friends is dead. He's literally right there. You're right. I'm sorry. I guess I just got carried away. Hey, is Becky single? Oh my god! So what do you do around here? Don't think I've seen you on set. Oh, you know... Whatever comes up, I keep my tools with me and I go where they tell me to go. Didn't you say you were a carpenter earlier? If there's carpentry needing doing, sure. And if something needs screwing, I'll do that too. And if someone need something needs nailing down, just call me. Uh who's that rap guy? MC him something? Hammer per <laughs> Point is I'm whatever you need me to be. Except weekends, evenings, and every fourth Wednesday. That's when I do my bodybuilding. Mom taught me three things. Take care of your body. Don't cuss. Don't listen to Pa because he's a goddamn drunk. Proud to say I've lived by those rules every day of my life. When I have kids, I'm going to teach them the same. So you're going to be a drunk like your Pa? Also, you already broke the cussing by saying goddamn. Well, maybe not the last one. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you for the resub, Sierra. How you doing? 22 months! Oh my god, it'd be yes, a face stream. Play murder by numbers! Uh, very East Attorney inspired, but it uses the cross, so math. <laughs> my, my numbers, so many numbers! It's very funny. <gasps> you must be pretty strong. Get, you get in many fights? Who? Me? What's that got to do with anything? This is based on the visual assessment. You would be easily capable of killing someone if you wanted. Scout! Robot! Robot, we don't say that to the suspect! We don't! Let the best suspects know we think they might be killers! Hey, what are you trying to say? What do you think of John Redfern? Could he be a killer? Noodle arms back there? No way. Then again, when I was in school, a scrawny nerd knocked some other kid out with a chessboard. <laughs> so yeah, if John had a weapon or something, I guess it's possible. He is a super fan, so that does make me wonder if it could be him. What do you think about Becky? She's pretty. Got one hell of a temper, though. You don't want to get on her bad side, trust me. Come from a long line of mouthy broads, I'm used to it. Why the- who the fuck says broad? No one said broad in the 90s. <laughs> Except, well, people like that. You think that kind of anger might be enough for Becky to kill Blake? I hit the- I hit my desk. I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, Sierra, how you doing? Oh my goodness, I gotta stretch. I doubt it. My mom was always yelling, but she never killed nobody. 
thought that would explain where Paul though that would explain where Paul went. Really? What do you make of Detective Cross? Ain't much like the detectives on TV, is he? What do you really we, you really need is someone like them on What's that show again? Murder something, something, Miss Misty, something, mistletoe? Miss Terry. It's murder Miss Terry. Is get it? Murder Miss Terry! Get it? That's right, I bet they sort this whole mess right out. Say, now that I mentioned it, you look kinda like one of the chicks on that show. Anyone ever tell you that? No, really. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay. So he said he lost something. That, so it's probably this. But I want to show that. Or no, we showed it already. I don't want to accidentally I don't want him to like get something. In case it is him. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. So we got the hair dye. Maybe talk to um stack of hate mail show yeah show master 66 and then tape label inside sm66 so that's obviously so these two are connected how come you got an id with my face on it ain't that identity theft or something this is your id card we found it in the break room shoot i must have dropped it i really gotta get new pockets for these overalls how long have you worked here not long a few weeks i guess Okay, then why do you have a badge that is really old? Really? Bill said this ID design is old, like a decade old. I... I don't know what to tell you. That's the one they gave me when I started here. Come on! No. You know you could trust me. No, I can't. I actually don't. Because he's a tool. Like, literally. We showed that. Okay, we're gonna go. I think Blake's killer dyed their hair as part of the disguise. Do you? Me? Dye my hair? I'm young! I'm virile! You see any grays on the up my head? Sir, you can get grays as soon as 26. I should know. <laughs> well, no, but. Ha! I didn't think so. You're only as old as you feel. That's what Gramps used to say. Although he died bungee jumping at 92, so I take that with a grain of salt. Dude, <laughs> he lived to be 92 though, so. <laughs> okay. We're gonna. We're gonna go back to the break room and we're gonna go talk to Casey. Because he'll know about the hair dye. Can you tell me anything about this bottle? I'm probably gonna have a t oh no! <laughs> get that fresh, get that fresh blood in there. <laughs> who, who am I? Oh no! Like these kids are causing me to go gray. Where did you get this? This is club branded hair dye. Trust me, Honor. You don't want this stuff anywhere near your head. Bill found it in Blake's office. Not a product you recommend, I take it. I made the half jug one for <laughs> Yes, that probably is very fortunate. <laughs> uh, I, I, I keep stretching. You better off using spray paint. I threw all of that trash out years ago, and I've been very strict with our suppliers. Oh no! Oh, I am so sorry! Oh shit! I feel for you! Fuck! Fix fixing fixing shit boomers type in. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably gonna probably handle them better than me. Is 
It's been a long time explaining all the painful ways it could be inserted into their sales guy if they tried to flog me anymore. So someone else must have brought it in. This could belong to the killer. If you ask me, you have to be a psycho to use that stuff. But why would a murderer need hair dye? <laughs> a quick disguise, maybe? Last I checked, boomers weren't 40. No! Is my age group? I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm early millennial, so I'm still, I'm still young enough! Yeah, Jenna, it is to 40 is technically Gen X. Close though. <laughs> they, all the Gen Xers I know do know how to use computers, but granted all the Gen Xers I know are also massive nerds like me, so that's probably why. You need some boomers not knowing what the fuck to do. A quick disguise, maybe? Oh shit, Becky's screaming. Oh no! She might be next! I don't... <laughs> what the hell was that? I think it was Becky! It sounded like it came from the set! Do you think she found another body? You better go check. Me? What? I would love to be there to back you up! But I should probably stay here. In case the killer tries to... hide! In the, uh, fridge. Location unlocked. Set. Okay, cool. We got, a new, we got a new location. Let's go. Did another quick save. Game is on! Chicken noises. Oop, I, I hit office, not set. Oh, heating pad's actually getting a little too hot. go. I am old because I'm using a heating pad on my back. <laughs> How strange. This room doesn't seem to be finished. It's a TV set, Scout. This is where we film Murder Mr. Miss Terry. Becky, are you here? Get away from me, you freak! I said, get away from me! What's going on? Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that, you idiot! Are you okay? Is someone else... Oh crap, he's coming this way! Probably the nerd. I'm getting out of here! <laughs> yeah, like, nearly every name in here is a pun so far. If he asked, you didn't see me, got it? If who ask? The it's the simp! It's the simp! <laughs> Becky, please, I just wanted to read you something! Oh, hi, Honor. Did Becky see- say, did Becky come this way? <laughs> yeah, it's like, huh, do I want to be nice? No, she's a bitch. She was just here. Should I say meet her in the restroom? Yeah, she was just here. Didn't seem like she was in the mood to talk, though. Really? Dang it. You know, I almost feel like she's trying to avoid me. No, really? Huh. I can't believe it. I'm really here on the set. What are you doing in here? Why did Becky scream like that? Oh, well, I guess I surprised her. I never realized studios, TV studios were so dark. So you were just standing around in the dark on an empty set. Not suspicious at all. Not just any empty set. This is the actual set where Murder Mystery is filmed. Yeah, it was. So you're a pretty big fan of the show? 
Actually, Miss Terry, Becky, is pretty much my idol! Uh-oh. Don't get the wrong idea, I love your character too. Miss Terry and Detective Oates are the greatest TV detectives of all time! Thanks, John. It's just a shame it's all over. Over? You don't think that they could cancel the show, do you? I mean, the showrunner's dead. And I was fired. So yes, granted I was fired because of blackmail, so I might get the job back, but again, the showrunner is dead. How can we carry on without Blake? He was the one who brought us all together. It was his show as much as anyone's. But, but you have to keep going. Think of it as a, a tribute to him, a memorial season. Wouldn't that be the best way to honor his work? Even if we wanted to, there will be no Detective Oates. One of the last things Blake did was cancel my contract for the next season. You, you're kidding! We can't have Terry without Oates? That's ridiculous! You think that's ridiculous? Wait till you, until you hear about the talking poodle. As soon as I get home, I'm posting all on alt.tv. Miss Terry about this. There'll be angry letters, black faxes, riots! Fucking old internet forms. Fucking old internet forms. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Message boards. BB, uh, BBS forms. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> The good old AOL chat rooms. You really want Becky to like you, huh? She's so cool. I just wish she'd talk to me. Reminds me of the TLT mentioning blogs in one of the songs on Zero One. Oh, like they don't? Oh, that'd be hilarious. The Geocities Ge Geo spoofs. Man. Man, if I didn't like random ass Geocities links. Like, it could be something good, could be something totally terrifying, could be a virus. <laughs> no matter what I say, she looks at me like I'm some nasty she's something nasty she stepped in. I was gonna say something really mean, but I'm, I'm just gonna move on past that. I don't understand. Becky has shown no signs of interest in you, but you keep trying. Because she's Miss freaking Terry! I might have no chance, but I've gotta try. Even if she tells me to go to hell, at least she spoke to me! Oh, he. Well, mi well, miss. Well, well, well. Geo Cities was a type of web hosting site where you can host anything, and a lot of fan websites were there back in my day. <laughs> making me feel old asking that! <laughs> Squarespace, but 80s! And early 2000s, but yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> we didn't have Google, we had Ask Jeeves. <laughs> and all our internet had a soundtrack. <laughs> And the Ulta Vista, oh my god! <laughs> and everybody was friends with the Muspist! <laughs> no, it's Netscape. Oh god, Netscape! No! Another year older, another year wiser! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to drink. <laughs> Wonder if they're gonna be friends Napster or, um, LimeWire. <laughs> like, yeah, people watch your show on you know, LimeWire. 
Because, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't decide if that's sweet or just creepy. You don't happen to know if she's into poetry, do you? Oh, no! Yeah, you're right, it is too early. Yeah, it would be too early. So, oh, what was it? Also, please do, don't do poetry, and please do not pull, pull out a guitar and sing to her. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't think so, why? No reason. What do you think of t about Tully? He's such a jerk, all muscle and no brains. And the way he's always flirting with Becky, it makes me sick. Is it making you sick because he's flirting with her? Or does it make you sick because the way he's flirting with her is extremely gross? Matchbox 20. <laughs> I, oh my God. You can tell which what like which people were the, like the, like I, I hate saying millennials in this one. And when I went to see the movie in theaters, we're all laughing at the scene because my mom saw it with me and she had no clue what that song was. <laughs> And so, like, all the younger people, no idea. All the older people, no idea. Everyone in, like, <laughs> their 30s and they're just laughing their asses off. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> like, let's go. There's a clip of recently where uh, the, the singer for Match, Matchbox 20, he goes, st about to start push, and he's like, this is for Ryan Gosling. <laughs> it's like, uh... Gotta love the memes. I remember. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hot. Sometimes there's just one of those things. It's like it, it, people are going to know. People aren't going to know. But oh my god, that seems like oh my god, stop! Please stop with the guitar. If you're trying to find a murderer around here, he's big enough to do it and stupid enough not to hide it properly either. Why do women always go for meatheads like him when there are? That's why! No! I'm a good guy! No, it's. Mm -mm. When there are good guys like me who want it, just waiting to be given a chance. Gee, I don't know, maybe if you respected them as people instead of acting like they owe you or something? Owe you something? That'd be a good start. Right? All these guys, all but KC are. No, I take it back. KC's a red flag too, but just for the gays, because he thinks Johnny Jeffrey Dahmer's hot. <laughs> <laughs> They're all red flags, except for Bill. No, Bill's the nice one. Bill's good. Bill, Bill is just a Bill is just a big puppy dog. Link's dead, so he's no flag. <laughs> but all the other men in this summer have been red flags. <laughs> oh sure, and what would you know about it? Just say. <laughs> Where, where's the murder weapon? <laughs> Can I use? Let's go. We're gonna reenact the murder right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap at you. All this murder stuff has got me pretty tense. Oh, you know what? He's on that message board. He might know who this is. Any of these letters look familiar to you? N no, why would they? Just a wild guess. You sent fan mail before, right? I bet you know the you know our address by heart. I've also memorized the studio phone and fax numbers. Ten digit membership code for Miss Terry's Junior Investigations Club. Investigators Club. But I haven't sent any fan mail recently. And who signed these so called letters anyway? You won't find my name at the bottom, that's for sure. You could <laughs> only care to without a red flag. It's like they're too, they're too perfect. <laughs> it's like something's wrong. Hmm. You won't find my name at the bottom, that's for sure. True, they're signed by Shadowmaster66. That's a pretty cool handle, but I don't recognize it. What do you I, I don't know what that is. Where did you get that? I mean, I've seen... Wait, isn't it? I've seen the cassette recorder before, but he, but here's the thing. He acted upset that I was fired and he apparently wanted me fired. So I like how the neighbors of serial killers talk about how nice they, right? 
Like, they were such a nice guy. I can't imagine seeing them. Yeah, it's like, sometimes it's like, hmm, you're a little too perfect. Suspicious. I mean, I've seen the cassette recorder before. There's nothing special about that one. Quite the opposite. The recording quality is so bad that most of the audio is unintelligible. Un 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 what? Oh, man, I knew I shouldn't have... Uh... Shouldn't have what? Shouldn't have told you how much of a fan I am of your show! You're trying to sell me some cheap tape recorder just because you play Detective Oats? I've never been so insulted in my life! Dude, you're looking guiltier by the second. Hang on, I... This guy owes Miss Terry every Miss Terry collectible. He'll probably buy any old crap. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just wanted to know if you recognized it. Oh, well, okay then. Never seen it before in my life. Hmm. So, we found a stack of hate mail and an audio tape, both in the room where Blake was murdered. An analyst suggests both of these belong to the same person, Showmaster 66. At the same time, the recordings tell us that Blake was killed because someone wanted to fire me from the show. There is a 70.4967% chance that the hate mail was sent by the same person who killed Blake. With dealing with some kind of crazy fan, and you're big on the online forums, you must know something, John. I, I don't know what to tell you! Please, I... Don't worry, I think I already know who Shadow Master 66 really is. The way he acted was weird. Oh shit, I should have saved. Hmm. Becky Tooley you. He the way he reacted to the thing was suspicious. I can't really I can't really see Tooley sending hate mail. He's also hitting on honor. It's you, isn't it? You're Shadow Master 66. I, uh... All right, fine, you got me. It's mine, it's all mine. The tape recorder, the letters. You killed Blake? What did he ever do to you? No, no, I didn't kill anyone. You have to believe me. Don't worry too much about not saving. Mizahara, Mizahari. He, hi, he, hi. Miz <laughs> Mizrahi. No, Mizra Mizrahi. I don't know how to say her last name! Is it Misery? What the hell do you think you're doing? Just in time, detective. I identified the murderer of Blake Patterson. You're just not going to quit, are you? You know what? Fine. It's about time you learned this isn't as easy as you think. Who's the killer? And what's your proof? This is it. The moment of truth. Stay calm and think it through. You got this. Yeah, we never figured out about the hair dye. The hate mail on the tape recorder proves it's John. Why would he think it'd be Becky? Becky doesn't use that. Also, did... The hate mail was sent by Blake by someone calling themselves Shadowmaster66, the pseudonym of John Redfern. Th that's not... Yes, I sent the letters, but only because they were ruining my show. He also planted this tape recorder at the scene of the crime. No, I mean, yes, I hid the tape recorder in there, but... I was only trying to hear about the next season of Murder Miss Terry. I only wanted to find out who was going to be behind the scenes. That's the only reason I'm here today, I swear. You believe me, right? You believe me, right? I, you, you don't seriously think I killed anyone, do you? Death threats, trespassing, planting surveillance devices? You better come with me. I want to search that backpack that uh, you left in the break room. You mean you're going along with this? What about Tully? He could have killed Blake. Oh, or that security guy. I bet he's the murderer. Wait, let's not do anything crazy. Move it now. What about me? 
you've done enough. Just keep back and let me handle this. It's probably not him, but the evidence don't look good. Really, detective, this isn't necessary. Will you just listen to me for a second? I don't have rights. Don't I have rights? What's with all the noise? John was just about to open his backpack for me. What for? I guarantee all his this nerd is carrying a bunch of toys and bubblegum cards. Maybe, but there has been some serious accusations made. I need to see the inside of that bag. But, but I don't... She'll see! Who? Miss Call? What she's got to do with this? Don't look at me. I've got no idea what he's blabbering about. I, I just... It's embarrassing. i really rather not... Fine, I'll open it for you. Wait! Don't open that bag, detective! What the hell do you want? Honor, come get this floating rust bucket out of here. It's obviously malfunctioning. If this is the killer's bag, it may be dangerous. I do not advise opening it without the proper precautions. Dangerous? Like what, a bomb? There is no bomb inside of my bag! That's exactly what a mad bomber would say! Don't you dare open that bag while I'm in here! I'm not qualified to handle bombs, damn it. I'll have to call it in. Needing the bomb squad for a bag full of toys. This is a new low. Maybe they're right. Maybe I am getting too old for this kind of work. I could do a subsurface scan of the bag without opening it. It's not 100% accurate, but it may help. You can do that, and it's safe. There's only a very small chance of accidental detonation. Detonation. Statistically insignificant, really. This crazy tin can's gonna kill us all. <laughs> do the scan. Puzzle start. Oh, fuck. One, but not zero. Oh, no. What? Ah, why is it so big? Fifteen squares down now. Well. All right, we exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best! Told you the double t Oh no! Wow, they really jump you, don't you? This is still the first case! Oh my god, this is still the first case! Well, six. And then two. But we got a two here. Uh, oh! No. Then we got one here. Okay, that row's done. Need to figure out these rows. Oops, shit. Did not mean to click that. They only get so big, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that's the other one there. Biggest so far is 15, 15, 15, 15. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I mean, I'm getting it. It's fine. And before a 999 for <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Got those two. Plus. A three thing? Yeah. Two. What? Okay, this one's oh, this one's all messed up. This one's this one's messed up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh hi Hope. Why you did just she just jumped on my desk. 
Hi, cat. What can I help you with? Yay, I got it! Award statue. I'll be honest, I thought that was something else. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, detective. There's no bomb inside the bag. Although, I'm detecting a large, solid metal object. I've seen everything everywhere all at once. I've seen what those trophies can do. <laughs> Let me have a look. It's buried under all these sheets of paper. It looks like some kind of poetry? There's no need to... This one's called The Eternal Mysterian. No dead to Becky Call. What? Ew! We'll come back to that. Let me see what this metal thing is first. It looks like a trophy, which can be heavy and used to bash someone's head. What is this doing here? Hey, that, that's not mine. Someone must have put it there. I'm being framed. I recognize that. It's a star shine reward. Why is John carrying a TV reward around in his backpack? How did he get one? He must have stolen it from Blake's office. He must have won it. He must have bought it off the internet. Did Blake have one? He must have stolen it from Blake's office. And look, it's got blood on it. Well, well, no wonder you didn't want us to look inside your backpack. I don't know how it got there, I swear. I just don't want anyone to see my poetry. I know it's not very good. It was supposed to be just for Becky. And now you all think I'm some kind of weird loser. Sir, we think you're a murderer. That's worse than being a weird loser. And a murderer. Don't forget murderer. Why would I kill one of the people responsible for my favorite TV show? I might not have liked some of the new episodes, but you guys are my heroes. Save it for the interrogation room. You're going to wish you spent your money on retaining a good lawyer instead of a bunch of collectibles. John Redfern, I'm arresting you for the murder of Blake Patterson. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in the court of law. But I'm innocent! Don't listen to him. He's just desperate. You all, you saw all the evidence. This case is open and shut. You need to go home and take it easy. Get your head straight. It's been a long day for us. All of us. This doesn't feel right. I think I messed up. What a day. Babe, I'm just glad it's over. I can hear a cool glass of Chardonnay calling. But it's not over, is it? Not for me. What are you on about? You caught the bad guy, or did you not notice Detective Cross frog, frog marching him out of here? Yeah, but Blake's still gone. And it's all because of me. Don't be daft, you didn't kill him. But John wanted Blake to fire me, not Becky, not you, me. If I wasn't on the show, Blake might still be alive. Forget the glass. I'm sensing this is more of a bottle of a Chardonnay situation. Maybe two. You're right. I probably just need some time to relax and process everything. Red fern, we're like red haired. Oh my fucking god, you're probably right. Ah, shit. Absolutely, you need some downtown, babe. How about we hit the town? My treat. I know a great drag place just around the corner. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. And we just hang at my place instead? I don't know if I want to deal with other people right now. No problem. I still got some stuff to pack up, so I'll meet you out in the parking lot in 10. Reminder, we still haven't found your car keys on her. Damn, I forgot about that. AC, can we make it 20? Sure. I've been stuck here for hours already. What's another 20 minutes? Location unlocked. Parking lot. I don't think we got to look around the set. Maybe you dropped your keys in here? Shall I scan the room for them? It's worth a try. You do know what keys actually look like now, right? Oh yeah, uh, for those who were he confused the car keys for a tampon. Because <laughs> I said car keys, question mark. I'm like, that doesn't look like car keys. <laughs> sure, <laughs> only one way to find out. What's Becky doing in here? All right, another quick puzzle. Here's the thing, the thing is the evidence we have with Tully is not substantial because 
for the other dude though, that's pretty bad. Like he's the letters, he's the, he, it's his recorder, like it's all pretty bad, so. But yeah, it seems too easy. And the level's not done yet. So it makes me think we are not done yet. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to guess and be wrong. Oh no. I also need to remember here. Oh, right, it's this number first, and then this one, duh. Okay. Ah, and I'm, like, like, forgetting already. Yeah, Scout still has a few things to learn about humans. So that is pretty easy to figure out. So then mm, I figure these guys out. We got the one so here. All right, that row's done. Probably this way. Okay, cool. Hmm. There. Because the one hadn't gone. I need to remember to look where these go. Um, I don't. You guys. I don't think you guys can see my, my mouse cursor. When because the when you figure it out the right spot, these fade a little bit. So I just gotta remember to do that. It helps. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I hit the mic. <laughs> my bad. He's um, top. So you got the one here, one here, we have another one, another two. Don't, yeah. Oh! Wait. Ah! Which means the two is here. Where? <laughs> That's the question! That's a three. No? Here? Okay. Again, I have it set on easy. I am no math whiz. Hmm. No? There we go. Oh, right, the four. Oh my god. I thought I. Don't mind me. I'm just being blind right now. Right, we got the two. No, go back. So we got the one there. So there's the four there. Would be two, two, three, five. There we go. Oop, I was not paying attention. There we go. Keys! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to think of <laughs> Considering all the videos I've seen. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen some videos of men being very confused how those work. <laughs> how you yo you found Riku's new keyblade. <laughs> hey, you actually found them! I did? I did! As Boogie once said, as Boogie once said, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Boogie. Yeah. Humphrey Bogart? Don't tell me you don't know Casablanca. Casablanca, the largest city in Morocco. First settled in the 7th century BC and not the place, the movie. It's a classic. I don't think I've ever watched a movie before. You'll love it. As soon as we get out of here, we're watching it together. Oh, hey, Honor. 
If John won't be down at the station with Detective Cross by now, I wonder how the interrogation's going. I was on to him from the start. As soon as he came into the break room, I was like, he's the murderer, but no one wanted to listen to me. Seriously, Honor, sometimes it's exhausting being right all the time. Yeah, it must be awful. It's so unfair! Everyone knows the show is ruined now that Blake's gone! Blake mentioned. <laughs> You're right? Right? The we were like, and I'll probably never get my star sign shining award, and I missed my party! This day has been a total disaster. I just wanted to be over. You know, we're free to leave, right? I bet you can still make that party. I could, but I already missed the paparazzi opening window. It'd just be a waste of time. I thought you went to these parties to meet people, not just to get photographed. You think getting anyone in Hollywood is about networking? It's all about the col uh, column inches, Honor. Hurry, right, have, have a good rest. Thanks for stopping by. You could... You go to a party, get snapped looking glam on the way in, then get snapped again on the way out. Make sure not to look too sloppy, of course. Get a snap the next day with a giant coffee and huge sunglasses, and you got a double page spread in sub celeb life. Or you could just marry some witch guy and step all step over all the people who, who spent years working towards their dreams. But you know that more you know more about that than me. Ouch! Ooh, bitch! Why are you so obsessed with getting the Star Shining Award? You know you're a good actress. You don't need an award to prove it. Bucky, Becky is a bitch with a capital B. That award is my dream. I wanted to win Best Actress, actress since I was a little girl. And I'm not giving up now. Don't you think it's a little unhealthy to focus on it like you do? It's healthy to have goals, Honor. I know I'm a good actress, but I want everyone else to know. I want to be able to shove it that I want to be able to shove that award in their faces and say, see, I made it! Yeah, but award shows are just popularity contests, and we know that they don't always make the best decisions. I mean, look at the fucking best editor winner, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Fuck! <laughs> I'm still mad about that. I'm also still mad Baby Driver didn't win Best Editor Editing. At least everywhere, ever, everywhere, everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once did. But, ladies and gentlemen, how not to handle imposter syndrome. <laughs> yep, sounds totally healthy to me. Not. You know what? Hey, watch it! One slip and I'll end up a brunette! Oh my god. The 1993 Starshine Award for Best New Show, Murder Miss Terry. Hey, is that the Starshine Award? Let me see that! Oh, it's just for Best New Show. Forget it. Are you just going to show me whatever trash you picked off off the floor? Newsflash, I don't care. I need a badge! Can I get a badge? Are you just gonna... I thought John was a fan. Why is he sending me hate mail? Seems he didn't like the way the show was going. Wanted different writers, I guess. Why do all these freaks think we owe them something? Don't they realize they're watching our show? That needs to be framed? I need to screenshot this shit anytime I see someone go off on a show creator or writer because of some something dumb. Especially ship. Oh my god. There are certain people and certain fandoms that need to read this. <laughs> Didn't she give that to the police or something? Thankfully, Good Omens is not one of them. Instead, we're just cursing out Neil Gaiman because he made us all hurt. Seriously, if you haven't watched Good Omens, it's really good. I don't think there's anything else. 
Are you just gonna? Oh yeah. Oh god, I don't want to see that thing ever again. Really? But it's a tiny version of you. I'll admit I am pretty cute in miniature. Yeah, I, I figured that was the case. All right. Okay, so we have... I don't think there was anything else. Body's gone. We worked through a lot of great episodes in here. And Blake was always ready to talk if, we, if I needed something. But now, I know it's in the same room, but it feels so different. Understandable. Many things have been moved. I detect 4,913 differences in object in object position and orientation since my last scan. Ross must have the team in here to collect any last pieces of evidence. At least they've finally taken Blake away. He deserves some peace. Hmm. In fact, the investigation is back on. Makes me think there's more. Oh. There is. Oh, no, no, no. She was about to step on the keyboard. No, it's already messed up enough as it is. <laughs> you gonna sit on my lap? Okay, hope sitting on my lap now. He's been doing this a lot more lately. And it's cute, but she could also be really annoying. <laughs> Um, if you're wondering where Talora is, he's sleeping. So, he's probably not gonna join us anytime soon. He's, he, he's not, he's conked out. Hmm. Alright. But Faye, I wanna solve the mystery. <laughs> She's gonna make it right, exactly. She has the attitude to do it. Oh, that's right. Uh, Tor is officially 12. Um, I always forget what day we actually made his birthday, but it's in the beginning of the month. So he's officially 12. Uh, and Hope will be 13 in October. So they're getting old. <laughs> oh, my best getting old. No. They're still healthy and spry, though. It's all good. This one still likes to be a pain in the ass. She's been waking me up in the middle of the night, like, scratching something. I'll hear it. And I'm like, what? And she'll, she's just like, I want attention. I'm like, let me sleep. And she's like, no. I think I will not let you sleep. Leave this for the week. even though she sleeps all day because she's a cat. Let's... Hmm. Okay, so far so good on this one. I feel like I'm just collecting a bunch of evidence too, but hey, it's getting my detective score up. So, you know, that's not a bad thing. Whoops. Okay, that row's done. That row. Oops. Oh, nice. So these rows are done now. Ones. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, that's not right. Well, that is. Oh, no. Oh. I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why. Hmm. Two. So that one. Okay. Whoops! I meant to hit that! Oh, oh the three. Hmm. Oh, we got a two here. I also have a one. So it's either this one or this one. This one. Okay, it's here. That's not that. Hmm. Her. Her. Or half her body's just laying on my arm right now. It's, it's gonna end up falling asleep. Oh no. <laughs> I 
gonna end up falling asleep. This cat's lucky she's cute. Alright. Yay, got that row. Two. Do two. Seven. No. Hmm. But also got that. Okay, yeah, so. Up there. Here's We need three. So we need three in this row. Four in this row. Two twos in this row and two in this row. We got two here, so that. There we go. We got the one there. I need to remember to look up here. I'm really bad about doing that. Just... Yeah, okay, yeah. So the ads are... I'm just going to keep them short. It does unfortunately mean pre-roll, but... You know what? Then they're only 30 seconds. So then it's not too bad. I figured that way it won't be too bad then. Alright, yay, got those. Thank you for the gift sub, Sierra. <laughs> Thank you. And we have threes. Yay, we got it. What is it? What the fuck is that? Photographs! I should have noticed that. Of all people. <laughs> it's a Polaroid. Cross must have missed it when he took the rest of the evidence. Wait a second! Didn't Blake mention photographs on the audio tape? They were using them to blackmail him. The photograph seems to show two people engaged in some form of wrestling? Scout, no, honey, no, it's not wrestling. This is definitely wow. This is definitely not for kids. <laughs> Isn't the what is what, what is this game rated? Is it M? Oh God, they're not wrestling. They're. I'll explain later. So who are the two people in the picture? Obviously, that's Blake. So I guess that's his. Wait a second, that's not his wife. No wonder he didn't want these pictures to get out. <gasps> he was cheating! A scandal like this could have ruined him. Well, now he's dead. There's something written on the other side. Get rid of Honor Mizrahi, or this goes public. That confirms it. Blake was blackmail blackmailed into firing me! A, a poster fell. I have like a little hand, like a little poster hand. I mean, it just fell. <laughs> Scare me. <laughs> Detective Cross can add that to the list of charges against John. Just don't get why he hated me so badly. According to his letters, he was upset about recent episodes of the show. True, but he was so excited to meet me and Becky. He didn't seem to hate me at all. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Okay, so. We're, we, okay, so we're kind of led to, to think it was him. It just doesn't make sense. Honor, wait, I just ran a comparison to the, on the writing from the back of the photograph. The game's rated T. I guess as long as they only reference it and they don't say what it is, teenagers can play this. Teenagers can totally play this. It, do it doesn't match the handwriting on John's letters. Maybe his mom wrote it for him. <laughs> You're saying he could be innocent? I don't think I'm qualified to make that judgment. But I don't believe he took the photograph. And if he wasn't the one blackmailing Blake... He may not be the killer after all. We have to take this to Detective Cross. Blake's murderer is still out there. Well, sh okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just not with his wife. <laughs> there you are. I can't wait to pour the drinks. Put on some music and relax. Maybe we can still salvage what's been, let's face it, a bloody awful day. 
About that, can't wait. You're flaking on me! Sorry, I need to talk to Detective Cross. I found something and I think John is innocent after all. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine in a jail cell for one night. I'll just remind him of his basement. <laughs> Damn! It's vertical ballroom dancing. Bedroom dancing. I mean, serious, Casey. I feel terrible. It's just two player cardio. <laughs> Maybe. I guess we can say that. I convinced Cross to arrest him. And now he's out there on his own, probably handcuffed to a table. How would you like it? Couples yoga. <laughs> These are like all the ways that had to explain it to a Scout, because I'm like, he, look, he's too innocent. He's too innocent. He's just, he's just a baby. <laughs> Not exactly my scene, but someone says I should be less picky. Sorry, I don't mean to be such an arse. Arse! Arse! I've just been- I've just barely seen you outside of work lately. I miss our catch-ups. I know. Divorce isn't as simple as they make it seem on TV. There's always something to sign or some lawyer to talk to. How about tomorrow? <laughs> we can do the whole drinks and music thing. Maybe watch a movie? Would you believe Scout's never seen Casablanca? Play it again, Scout. I'm sorry, Casey. I like the equipment to display moving pictures. And I'm also incapable of- No! No, I didn't mean- You know what? Don't worry about it. You two had better get go free your little lost boy. If he is innocent, he needs someone like you on his side, uh, side to show him. To number one assassin. <laughs> He is innocent. He need uh, needs someone like you on his side to show him the way back to Neverland. No location. LAPD precinct thirteen. Kind of think it isn't. I thought you would running off to save John. Are you sure you don't mind canceling tonight? It's fine. It's just the downside of being friends with someone who's nice, I suppose. Hey, I balance you out. I'm the yin to your yang, the sunny to your share. Are you trying to imply that share isn't the nice one? Careful, or there might be another murder on the cars today. What about you? What are you going to do now? I'm booked to work a photo shoot tomorrow afternoon. Murder Miss Terry might be on summer break. This guy here sure hell isn't. You're in demand. My acting coach always used to say to book all the jobs you can, because one day there won't be any. Oh. Sorry, babe. I didn't mean to. Don't sweat it. I'm happy for you, really. At least things are going well for one of us, right? I wonder if Blake canceled the show now that Blake's gone. I'm not sure. He was the creator. I can't imagine Murder Miss Terry without him. But it was doing well in the ratings, and it makes a lot of money for the studio. I wouldn't be surprised if they find a way to keep it going. I just don't know if I could handle another year of Becky without you around. You know, you could probably get your job back. Blake only fired you because he was being blackmailed. Maybe. But it doesn't feel like now's the time to ask. Oh, sorry. I know Blake's not even on the in the ground yet. But could you possibly reverse the last decision he made? Thanks! Yeah, that'd be cold, even for you. Hey, I'm not cold! I just take a while to warm up. But I'm warm room temperature, at least. <laughs> Actually, yeah, hold on. Take a look at these photos. Oh God, who are, is that Blake? They're naked. <laughs> Why in God's name are you carrying that around with you? We found it in Blake's office <laughs> and there's more. Please tell me you aren't about to pull out a sex tape. No, just look at the photo again. Fine, but I'm sending you the bill to, for my therapist. That doesn't look like Blake's wife because it's not. This is how Blake was getting blackmailed. Bloody hell. Still, I'm not surprised he was up to no good. A powerful man in this town isn't. They forced him to fire me, and when he tried to cancel the call the police, they killed him. I can't believe John was capable of all that. He seems so harmless. That's where it gets interesting. Scout says that this isn't John's handwriting. The blackmail has nothing to do with him. And that's why you're going to show this across? Yeah, you're right. This is important. 
go on then. Stop hurrying around here and go rescue the poor sod. Okay, we better go. All right. Uh, oh, city map. All right, we're at the police station. It's been years since I was in here. See that gum on the wall behind the desk? I stuck that there 15 years ago. You spent time in the police station? Not in the way you're thinking. My dad used to work here. Oh, that could be our advantage. Having an ally in the police could... Dad passed away, Scout, a long time ago. We're on our own here. She's having such a hard time! Oh my gosh, poor Honor. Jeez. Speaking of which, John's probably alone in the interview room with Cross right now. Keep quiet, we might be able to hear what's going on. I'm telling you, I wasn't there. You think you're tough, Red Fern? I'm going to get you to crack. And even if it even if it takes all night. Honor, Detective Cross is going to crack John! We have to stop him! Shh! Well hear us! Whoops. Hi, Detective! You, what are you doing here? I found new evidence. It's and it's in at the front desk, okay? I'll get it in the morning. But I Maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm busy right now. If you want to talk, come back tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me. Damn it! I locked the door. Hey! Open up! You got the wrong guy in there! Cross won't do his job, but we'll have to do it for him. What are you suggesting? All the case evidence is behind the front desk, right? Let's take another look. We might have missed something. Behind the desk? What if someone sees us? Let me worry about that. Can you try, uh, try scanning the murder weapon again? I can conduct a micro-level scan, but it will take some time. That makes me concerned that this is going to be a big puzzle. I don't even know which, which, which order that I was going. Oops. Okay. That's going to be back here. Puzzle start. <laughs> I was. Take some time! Yep! Oh, you could just drag. <laughs> I'm going ahead and putting X's where they need to be. Oh my god. Eleven for this last one. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> you just drag like that. You don't have to cause you don't have to click on each one individually. I didn't realize that. Well, I mean now I do. Wait. Eleven. Oh, there's another. Oh, no, that is right. Don't mind me. You can drag the X's too, but it's easier to auto. Yeah. They're not as vital in the larger ones. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely makes it a lot easier. It's fun! We got a one. We got that one there. Uh, two, so it's not there, so it's here. Two, three. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got five, and then we got wait, so two, 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 two. Yeah, that looks about right. And then there's four? I need to remember to look up here too. If there isn't like an X. 
hell is this thing? <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Okay. Four. I get a four there. We already have three, so one. Okay. Three, two. We also have two, one. But we got we got down. Oh, I, oh! I really need to do more down here. Jeez. I keep forget, I keep forgetting. I gotta do like all the ones down here too. Oh shit! Not right. There's so many. Okay, so if it's six, then well. Oh man. Oh wait, hold on. So. Four, space, one. No. We got the five here. Then these three and two, four. Oh. Okay. That row's done. Six, seven. That row's done. So this is gonna be the six. Which one's gonna be the five? I guess I'll get to figure out the other ones first. So two, two. And that means also because these two are next to each other. My phone went off. Six. So here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think <laughs> I'm like, okay, gotta think, gotta think. <laughs> uh, I still need a six here, which I'm guessing is this. So one. So then this is five. Okay. I also have a six here, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's Hmm. Oh. Either. I have a feeling it's. The... Okay. Okay. And then four. That way. And ones. We got a one here. We have four. X. Four? Maybe? Wait. Yeah, because the final one here. Oh, I, I, I counted one extra. Okay. X, X, no. That line's done. Two, two, two. There we go. I think I'm getting this. I'm also slightly guessing on some of these, not gonna lie, but I mean, okay. It works, it works, right? I am glad that the X is autofill. <laughs> I have that set. <laughs> one, one. One. That's four. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong. No? I don't know, but. Mm. Luckily, getting wrong does not seem to affect my score. <laughs> Thank God. It'd be really bad if it did. Okay, that line's done. Four this way. And then 
one here. Nope. It was there. Of course. Oh! Another four. And then two. Or, no, there was already two here. Oh my god! I keep fucking up. It's fine. Doesn't hurt the score. No, it's fine. Oh my god. Almost done. What we got? Two more twos. Oh, here. No. Oh, there's already twos here. There we go. I need to remember to hit the X at the end. There we go. The heck is that? Fingerprint. You took the brink A. What did you find? There are faint marks in the award statue. They're oval shaped with quite intricate patterns. You mean fingerprints? Of course. I update my image, uh, image, <laughs> imaging database. We find a match to those prints, we'll know who held the murder weapon. But how do we find a match? We don't have any fingerprint rec uh, records to compare it against. The police have a data database. It would only have the prints of people who've been arrested before, but it might be worth a try. Good idea. Do you have access to the database? I don't have the password. That's what you mean. Can't you network? network with it or something? That's not how networking works, Honor. Besides, I don't have any communication hardware, so I... Hmm, that's odd. It seems I do have communication port, but the relevant subroutes are damaged. The routines are... Can you fix them? I can try. Attempting data recovery. Wait, I... Scout, what's happening? Uh-oh. Oh no, Scout blue screen! Scout OS, initiating boot up procedure, quarry hard work capabilities, person online, imaging online, network online, micro, microphone array online, speech synthesis online, visual, the knowledge online, connecting test server, success. Whoa, hello! Alt scientist chick? Hi! Jenna, boosting was looking looks good. How's your memory clock? Stable at 150 me megahertz. I'm reading the average infancy increase of 1.6% since yesterday. Damn it. Did I do something wrong? No, but I bet Tom that overclock wouldn't be stable. Guess I'm buying lunch today. What the? We gotta get him ready for another test. They're going to be here in 10 minutes. Ten minutes? I only just started basic diagnostic. What? What is going on? There's nothing we can do. If the administrations won't want to reinforce R&D, then... Screw the administrations! They can't just change the perimeters like that! Sorry, Scout. Looks like you're in for, the long, for a long day. His memories! You're back! Thank God! I thought I lost you! What happened? There was an unexpected payload inside the damaged communications code. Accessing it triggered a- In English! I remembered something. There was a bright room. People were arguing. Do you know where they were? What were they arguing about? Maybe you died and went to electronic heaven? <laughs> what were they arguing about? Something about a test? She was angry. Who was angry? I don't know. I wish I could remember more. Do you think there might be other memories that you haven't found yet? It's possible, but I have no way of knowing where they are or what might trigger them. If there's more to uncover, we'll find it together. I promised I help you, and I mean it. I meant it, sorry. Thank you, Honor. I'm so glad I found you! In the meantime, how about the communi that communications code? Can you access the police computer? Yes, I think I have restored that functionality. Give me a moment to make a connection. 
Oh shit, this is on timer? So all these puzzles about using use of X or hints. Look out for lines that only have one solution. Any error will occur a time penalty. Fuck! Okay, well. I fucking guessed. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that's done. That's... Okay, that's done. I did it! Oh shit! I need to do a three. Back! Uh... Oh no. Okay, well, wait, hold on. Uh, one. There's a one here. A match for the fingerprint. Well, don't keep me waiting, Scout. Who is it? A man called Frank Pitchell. Uh, who? 34 years old, prior arrest of assault and extortion, although all charges were dropped. There, there is a photograph attached to the file. You may want to see this. He looks familiar. But something's not quite right. Not quite. Oh my god, it's Tully! Of course it's a fucking Tully! I almost didn't recognize him with the red hair because he dyed his hair. That explains the bottle of hair dye. He must have had it in case he needed a quick disguise. He was the other obvious person. He threw on a pair of overalls and made up a story about working on set. Even the whole stupid thing was probably just an act. He was the one who blacked Mount Blake. Which did not go according to plan. If we heard on the tape, Blake threatened to call the police. So Frank grabbed the closest thing in hand, one of the awards from behind Blake's desk. But now we know who you are, Frank, and we're coming for you. Man, do I need a coffee. You're still here? Do you, you have someplace else to be? Dun dun dun. Oh. He needs fuel. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling like I'm close to the end, but I'm like, my throat's starting to hurt. <laughs> and I'm out of my drink. The only bad thing about these games is reading the, is all the reading out loud. You just aren't going to leave me alone, are you? How's the interview going? The guy's driving me crazy! Thank you for the hydrate, but I'm almost out. Take a five minute break. <laughs> All right, I'll take a break. Okay, I'll take a five minute break. So, we'll be right back. Give me time to... Wow! Me... All right, yeah, I'm gonna go and, uh, okay, then I'll... No, I thought I removed that! <laughs> well, then we would just be playing and just be silent. <laughs> All right. All right. It's 10k points for three. Ah. All right. All right, I'll go take a five minute break. We'll be right back. Break time's over. Gotta refill. I also had some jello. <laughs> and little little thing of jello. <clears throat> Let's 
guy's driving me crazy. I don't know how he does it, but he climbed up tighter than a rhino in a wetsuit. That's an oddly specific thing. I don't- I know why he's not- I know why he's not talking. Why? Because I'm not going hard enough? No, he's not talking because he's innocent. Are you serious? An hour ago, you wanted me to throw the book at him. I've been trying to tell you since we got here. How many times have I got to tell you? You're not a real detective. You can't walk in here and expect me to overturn hours of work just because you've changed your mind. Everything I've seen points to John. Unless I've missed something, the case is closed. We found evidence that. I told you, put it on the front desk. I'll get to it tomorrow. But you need to see this now. What could possibly be that important? Photographs. Either show me something important or go home. But so no photograph. I didn't want to believe it either, but I was wrong. We found fingerprints on the murder weapon. Fingerprints! They match a police file of a man called Frank Pitchell. Better known to us as Tully. He was disguised, but it's him. What kind of guy brings a bottle of hair color to uh when he's gonna murder somebody? Like that takes hours. Well not hours. Depend well, depends on the product, I guess. Salon takes hours. <laughs> but if you like want to actually set I guess it I guess it was just one of those like instant. But still. <laughs> How did you lift the prints? The lab told me they don't have the slot for hours. Scout did a micro-level scan of the award. Once I had the image of the prints, I searched the police database and- You hatched it to the police computer?! I should have you both arrested! For solving your case, get your priority straight, detective. Frank Pitchell. If you're playing it- If you're playing- Something has already come- <laughs> Good point. Get your priority state detective. Frank Pitchell killed Blake, and he's still out there somewhere. Wait a second. Where are you going? We've got Pitchell's address on file. I got to collar the guy before he leaves town. If he gets away now, the chief is going to bust me down to traffic. What about us? We found the evidence we... Absolutely not. You stay here, and I mean it this time. Don't move until I get back. I assume we'll be ignoring his instructions as usual. <laughs> you you learn quickly, Scout. You learn quickly. You catch on pretty quick, Scout. Man, me and Honor are in sync. The detective left the station in a hurry. The flashing lights and a screaming siren aren't hard to follow. As I drove, my mind turned over the day's events. Blake's death, Scout's appearance, John's arrest, Frank's guilt. It seemed like the whole world was turning inside out, a dizzying whirlwind with me at the center. Up ahead, I saw Cross pull up to the curb outside the apartment block. Frank's place. There was a crowd of people gathering outside. A yellow cordon, uh, cordon fluttered in the breeze. Cardigan. Uh, Will there be an imposter or detected cross? So there will be a double cross. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know. I don't know yet. That's why AJ. Something wasn't right. Oh fuck! He's dead. Wait. Was Blake fucking his wife? Was he married? He was hitting on us though. So I mean, he's a piece of shit. Frank Pitchell was dead. They said it was a suicide. A note in his apartment said he hadn't meant to kill Blake. Things got out of hand. He couldn't live with himself. The usual stuff. But did he really? I've tried everything to... It's tied everything up neatly enough for the police. Case closed. But it wasn't enough. Not for me. I wanted answers. I wanted to know why I was involved. And then... I, then I wanted out. To run away. To regroup. To salvage whatever was left of my life. Eh, good riddance. Little did I know, the universe had a different plan for me. Case closed. Oh, we were that close! <laughs> ah, so I didn't need to take the break. It's fine.
Yay, finished case one. Da, da, da. And we got Detective Ring 8. Show's over. I didn't want to spoil anything though. Ah. Well, you know what? Let's do some of Scout's memories for like the next 20 minutes or so. Uh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, I was one off. I must have missed something. Which means I'm going to have to go back. I think I got these already. No, I want to go back. There we go. You get more points for normal. Okay. That's the missing points. Ah, uh, I see. Well, that could be like a replay thing. But yeah, so these are like extras you can get. So, let's try some of these for a bit. Oh, 10. Oops. I did not mean to do that, but apparently these are correct. I think. But uh, you get extra stuff for them. So I'll have to replay this on normal difficulty. Okay, but why did the, why was Blake being blackmailed to get me off the show? There has to be another reason. Somebody was mad. Like, also makes me wonder if Frank wasn't actually, like, into the show, but was told to kill Blake. And then somebody killed him to tie up loose ends. As the I didn't mean to do that. I, my mouse keeps going. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. Oh, I didn't see what. You'll find out later. Ah, okay. Well, that'll be something to look forward to later. So, then, that way. Oh, nope. There we go. I'm kind of... <laughs> oh, no. No, that's wrong. There we go. I'm not looking up there. I'm kind of just doing... Bleh. Let's see what this is real quick. And then... And then we'll probably call it a night. Oh well, I'm glad I did take a little break just to rest my voice. Now it doesn't feel like, ugh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then two here, and there's also a one. Nope, that way. <laughs> Oh, no, that was wrong. That was completely wrong. <laughs> and then... Four? Where? Two. This is wrong. There we go. There we go. Ah. One, two, three, four. What about here? Thirteen. What's this one? Seven? There we go. A donut! Mmm, donuts. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do those mostly off-stream, just kind of, like, practice. So, I guess it unlocks more of his memories. And yeah, there's, like, a couple you can do already. 
So I guess I'll do them off. Maybe I'll do them on. Maybe I will do them on stream, and uh, we'll unlock more of his memories. So I guess I gotta play on normal mode to get all the points. Anyway, that's it for the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and head off. Ah, my back. <laughs> Not as bad as I was worried it would be. Y'all have a good night as well. Uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I closed something I didn't mean to close. Yeah. Yeah, I will see you guys soon. Probably, actually, probably tomorrow. So, but I'll see you guys soon. You all have a good night. This game's fun, <laughs> even with even with, with using numbers. This game's fun. Um, I don't know if it's still this free on Epic, but hey, okay. see you later. Bye.